This is how we ride. I'm a track, you didn't know I keep it peaceful like that peaceful. And in my spare time, you might catch me sitting down with my legs cracked You didn't know I really do that Yeah, homie, the gun of three wishes, not a genie I'm But I'll be in all flying around that you knew me you know. See my past, present, and future No, it's for me, no, what's not, I keep it moving And you can't change the past Gotta move forward, we kept it flowing Man. Triple three. If you're new here, Aries, this is your January 2024 predictions readings. All signs have been uploaded, so make sure you check that out for your sun, moon, and ascendant sign progressed as well, Aries. Um, here we're gonna be tapping into a, your general situation, your macro situation of January 2024 for you here. So, um, if you're new and and you haven't been here before, let me know where you're tuning in from. Drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching during the live premiere, don't hesitate to hit that like button. I appreciate that. It helps the channel grow tremendously. Um, we do have a global community here, so I love to see where you guys are tuning in from as well, Aries. So let's get into it. As I split the deck, we see some devil energy here, Capricorn season. You may have Capricorn in your chart, Aries, for some of you guys out there. Um, that may be significant. Something significant happening with you during Capricorn season. We are tapping into that as well. I'm getting there may need to be a perspective shift Aries or you may be undergoing a perspective shift here for some of you guys we don't get into it we don't get into it Aries stay with me show me Aries show me Aries January 20th Emperor energy here. Aries energy. We tap in here. Show me Aries. January 2024. Aries. Show me Aries. All right, let's get into it, Aries. Let's see what's up for you guys. Hope you guys have been doing well, Aries. Hope you guys had a great holiday season out there. It is approaching. We just left through uh, left through New Year's, left through Christmas, things of that nature. If you guys celebrate, I hope this was great for you guys, Aries. We're going to be getting into your cards right here and right now. We do have the Ten of Swords coming out. At the bottom, we do have Devil Energy. Um, that may be significant Capricorn season here. Um, I hear something's happening to you in Capricorn season. There is something that will maybe maybe a shift in perspective here. Maybe moving forward with something here, Aries. Um, I do see that you do feel a little maybe defeated. Um, you have felt defeated in the past. You have felt maybe stabbed in the back by certain things, and you're and you're moving forward. You know, maybe this is your own thought forms too. Maybe you couldn't um, free yourself from your own mental cage here. And I'm getting you're letting that go or you need to let that go. That's your confirmation. Um, you need to let go certain things and naysayers and opinions that haven't served you here in order for you to move forward, in order for you to get released and release yourself into the future here. I do see the Ten of Pentacles. So I do see your current energy and your focus on wealth. And maybe this Ten, right? It's kind of like maybe you overthought a lot about a situation here, but maybe these thoughts are coming into material now. It's like... um. Maybe you were thinking how to how to curate yourself within some sort of business structure, family, um, create some sort of generational wealth for yourself. And you didn't really know how to do it. But it's like maybe you figured out how to do it now. Maybe you made sense of this thing now to bring it into reality. So before, maybe you couldn't sleep. Maybe it was keeping you up at night and things of that nature. But I feel like it's coming to life now for some of you guys, Aries. Um, for other guy, for other you, for others, Aries, you're kind of letting go of these negative thoughts because you trust, you're trusting what you've built and all that you've built, not just for you but for others in your circle as well. 
it and influence his decision. Um, you have you've had to make a decision here, Aries, and I think this is what may help you maybe solidify this foundation, this generational uh, wealth, this um, unification of your status here, your fulfillment of your status. And I think there was a decision that had to be made recently. Um, which is your in hidden influence. It's in position three as well. So maybe you had a conversation here with someone um, or something, someone spoke to you in some way, shape or form that kind of helped you move forward from the crossroads. Maybe that helped you with these negative thought forms too, right? Um, and it kind of, it, it was kind of your guide. Maybe this confirmation or this information or this conversation was your guide in order to leave these negative thought forms in the past and behind, right? Which is very nice here. Let me make sure I'm still recording there. Um, before we get into position four for you guys, Aries, I'm going to pull a mystery card for you. So stay down below as we get to this section of the reading. I would love to ask for your subscription. So don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Let me know how you're feeling, Aries. Let me know how you've been feeling through the new year. Wheel of Fortune. I'm seeing progression. I'm seeing forward movement here for a lot of you guys, Aries. Show me Aries. Confirmation. The confirmation for Aries, Sun, Moon, Ascendant. confirmation ace of swords i'm hearing it's time for you to move forward with an idea here maybe with a mindset maybe there was other maybe there was something blocking the way of uh, your way of moving forward here with your mind comment down below let me know what you think that card is here uh, we're going to leave that till the end and we're going to tap the tap into the mystery card at the end that's going to give us a confirmation that we need throughout this reading here as we get into it, position four, guys, we do have the nine, the nine of cups, right? Which is the hidden influence. And I do think here with the nine of cups, um, you're looking for ways to expand, right? You're looking for ways to expand within your relationship. Maybe um, the love you give to yourself, right? Maybe there's, a, maybe there's a travel opportunity that you want to embark on, but you may not be able to embark on here. And maybe there has to be a decision made as well before you can take this travel opportunity. Um, very interesting for some of you guys here. Very interesting for some of you guys. I think the I think the wealth and what you've been building is there for you guys. So I do see um, I do see maybe you wanting to travel here, Aries, but there may be some sort of decision you have to make first before you decide to embark on this journey. Um, you may be wanting to expand the love and your relationship, the love you give for yourself or a relationship in your life. And it may be tough. It may not be able to expand. There may be a lot of sort um, air energy. There may not be a, a union with the mind. There may, there may be confusion, right, with how you guys want to do certain things and how you want to move forward, maybe in a relationship here, Aries. So, you know, I see you do wanting to expand, but it seems really challenging at this time in January. Um... Let's get some clarity on that here with the next card as we pull this right here. We do have, yeah, so we do have the lovers. So I do think that you are expanding either with another individual here that you do love, appreciate, and value here that you feel you can give your all to and someone can give, you can get that in return here, um, which is very nice for you, Aries, very nice. I do feel others of you, you're trying to expand in something that you love to do, right? You're trying to grow maybe you're traveling maybe you're traveling for a relationship maybe you're traveling for a partner here aries maybe you're traveling to family or something like that like something that you really value you really love it's really on your heart right um which is very nice i do see it may be a little bit tough like it, it may be it may seem like an obstacle to travel or go towards this person place or thing here um i do see other people looking at you like you're moving forward with a connection as well aries maybe there's a love partnership here um, that you're moving forward towards. And I do see others noticing that from you. Maybe this person notices that you want to move forward with them as well, Aries. Um, I do see like, maybe you're trying to build a sense of stability. Maybe you let go of this overthinking and you're building a sense of the stability here, Aries, um, for this relationship, right? Because this is the external influences as well or other people's perspectives. And maybe you're doing something for an outside relationship. Maybe this is maybe this is something. This is in position five. So this is a relationship you're emotionally connected to, Aries here. Um, 
for some of you guys this is a person that you're very emotionally connected to and you want to build a sense of wealth here with that person or maybe for yourself so that you can sustain this relationship you can expand this relationship i do see you've made a decision maybe you were overthinking but the decision that you were overthinking has been made here with the hidden influence that's why you're curating this wealth and currently you may want to travel with this person um you know for further opportunities there may be an opportunity for you guys to travel but it may seem hard for you right now aries it may seem like that's either uncomfortable for you or for some reason you can't do it like something's stopping you that is the challenge maybe you're working on paperwork maybe you're working on um this wealth right your money your finances so that you are able to travel here with this person but i do see reciprocation here and i do see you wanting to move forward with the connection here i do see you making a decision based upon past overthinking and you're no longer overthinking that um the decision or maybe this person here see um this card right here we have the nine nine of cups nine of swords right so this position, what you're paying attention to, you are a little anxious right now. Um, how you want to expand, you have like this card because it's this card and it's keeping keeping you up, keeping you really thinking about this relationship. Um, this is usually a lot of times maybe a, um, a disruptive type card here. But in this path, the path for you to walk down is the Nine of Swords. And I think you have to expand your perception and expand your ways of thinking here. Um, it may be keeping you up because you can't expand. Maybe you're stuck in old ways of thinking here, Aries. But the fact that it's disrupting you, it's letting you know that you, in order to connect with this opportunity, especially with this expansion, this abundance, this, you know, material, love, um, relationship, wealth, and things of that nature, relationship opportunity, material opportunity, finance opportunity, in order to do that with this partner, I think you do have to shape your thoughts a little bit and the ways you think about certain things. Um, maybe certain mindsets, that haven't been serving you and you know they're kind of disruptive because these ways of thinking have been keeping you kind of stuck in the past as well maybe very limited right maybe there's something very good you're, you're coming on to here Aries but your ways of thinking is what's holding you back and you have to go down the road of expanding your thoughts and expanding your perception which may seem a little uncomfortable and you may not be used to it so it may keep you it may be it may have you a little disruptive here I'm getting but the outcome here is a page of swords I do think you're going to be receiving some sort of information regarding this relationship, um, maybe some sort of confirmation that allow you to move forward here. Um, I'm getting for some of you guys, expanding your perception, maybe connecting with this lover's energy. I'm getting some of you guys, the outcome of this may be information that you are having a child as well. The page energy is, is younger children type energy. Um, you may, and swords is air, so you may receive some information, some news maybe that you're, that you're pregnant, maybe you're having a child. Um, Maybe you want a child, maybe someone wants a family here with this 10 of pentacles, right? And I think you may get some information to kind of confirm this wealth, this abundance, uh, this love connection that will allow you to move forward here. Whether it's moving forward with this person or not with this person and things of that nature. And getting the hidden influence is decisive energy. Maybe so. Maybe you had a person that you're dealing with, maybe not sure on the actions um, or maybe not sure the idea they want to take and move forward with this relationship, maybe with you, Aries. Um, this could be someone else's energy or your own energy, not not knowing how you want to move forward here. Maybe being a little confused um, based upon overthinking and thought forms that you were used to. Maybe maybe certain relationships had um, had you thinking a certain way, but this is not like that. I feel like this is very fulfilling here. This is very home-like. This is very comfortable and very nurturing. So I think you've really made a decision on how you want to move forward here. I think this relationship or this decision does require some travel here, maybe some expansion. Maybe you just it's, maybe it's your local travel, maybe it's over broad, abroad travel, but I do feel like this is with a partner. Um and as well as you expanding your perception and changing the ways you think about certain things. Maybe this expansion and this this fulfillment requires you to change your mind and change the way you think and maybe your perception a little bit and that's what's making you a little uncomfortable. But I think when you walk down that path, you will see some information that'll confirm to you that this is the right relationship or connection for you. Let's get into the business card, uh, the mystery card, confirmation card here. I do see some cups, I see some air, I see some earth. I don't see any fire. I don't see any action being taken right now. Um, maybe the passion, maybe the motivation is here. Maybe the desire is here. Maybe you know what you're moving forward for. And maybe you know what really drives you and why you want to move forward with this. Maybe seeing some fire would be nice. If not, maybe seeing some fire would be nice to give us that confirmation, that balance here. I think there was a lot of thinking and a lot of decision making that had to go under play first to really see how you want to take action and really give you the confirmation you need to know how you want to take action here. 
Let's see what we got. Comment down below. Let, let us know what you think this card is here. I'm thinking fire, though. Let's see. Oh, the devil. The devil. So we did see the devil on this deck as well. Is it at the bottom? Yes, it is at the bottom. So this is our confirmation, guys. We've seen both devil cards here. So this is very significant. I thought it was just an underlying story, but it is your confirmation card here. Okay. I do, I feel, I feel power here in this position. I feel, I think it's connected to this wealth energy within your status. I feel like you want control over this status here. I feel like you want triumph over this connection. You really want it to work. You really want it to come together. That's why I think you made a decision. That's why you were maybe overthinking it. But I think you, it's really the love is there. The water is there. I think the practicality is there. And I think it's just the action that needs to be taken. Um, to secure this sense of status right here right to really start building and initiating and moving forward with this relationship <clears throat> or job right this could be a career for some of you guys as well aries um maybe you're trying to secure your finances and maybe you're overthinking your job a little bit here um but you have what it takes to generate wealth and i think you're trying to get a grip and control over this situation here maybe over your job and over your circumstances maybe you can't maybe you don't have Maybe you're not in control of this travel situation. So it's like you're buckling down on what you need, you know, checking the paperwork, checking your finances, checking your banks, really focusing on these things so that you're able to do what you can in life, travel, uh, be comfortable in your status and things of that nature and kind of do things remotely here. Um, being able to be maneuverable and kind of flexible here, not being too fixated, not being too bound in a geographical location, but having the wealth so that you can control the geographical location that you're in, right? that you can control the circumstances, situations that you go into and get involved in, right? Very nice here. I do see status. So I do see that this is a very big confirmation on status, whether um, material, finances, career, or status within a couple, whether going from single to a couple, from a couple to married. I do see a level up in status and I do see um, you wanting to take control and really doing what it, really doing what it takes to kind of facilitate this for yourself here, Aries. This is very nice. Follow up back with me in, in January. I hope this brought you some clarity here. I think the decision has already been made. I do feel like you are in this wealth energy. You kind of got rid, of, rid of, of some of those thoughts. If you haven't yet, it's, it's telling you the message is you got to clear your mind. You got to separate from things that no longer serve you that only hold you back here. You got to go down the path of expanding your perception and expanding your mind. Find new things you love to do. Find new things that help you look at things differently. Find new ways to expand your thought. Maybe write something down. Maybe journal. Maybe listen to some positive music. Um, maybe stop and pause and do a little bit of meditation. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's a quiet isolation period that's needed here to really quiet the mind and understand your thought forms and the way you think, right? And if these things are really serving you for your highest good. It's getting a grip, getting a control over your mind, over your own well-being here, Aries. This is very nice for you. And as always, you guys know, Namo Himalaya. I'm watching from afar and I'm rooting for you. Anything you would like to know is in the description box below. We still have our 50% off till January 10th, all personal readings. You could book now or ahead of time. So don't miss out on that. Community closes, Awoken Minds Academy closes January 30th. So y'all stay tuned, pop in to invite only. So make sure you guys can get in and get access now where we teach and guide through tarot, astrology. You get one-on-one -on -one <clears throat> talks and community messages from me um coaching calls every two weeks from me and things of that nature and you're surrounded by a love a loving like-minded community aries so i appreciate you for tuning in here i think you have and think you know what it takes to move forward you got this as always mc triple three we outy i'm asha from afar i gotta move clean young mc knowing better because i gotta do right g you know me. and i had to build it up just for my team and my family kept it going on my feet 10 to 20 toes man you know it g and that's just how i'm coming man you know i'm true to me i had to set the plan didn't know i was executing me and if you don't see me presented in the present might not be the time i'll be walking divinely alive 777 seeing all my past you know i'm fly and I'm flying with the angels, man, it's our time. Mm -hmm. MC Triple Three, I'm rapping on the beat, it's also coming here. And they don't know about the boom.